Washington Monument is really one of America's first major public-private construction partnerships. The Washington National Monument Society began construction in 1848. They got to about 150 feet before they ran out of money. Um, the Civil War came along shortly after that, and the monument sat incomplete for about 22 years. Congress finally stepped in in 1876, took over the project, gave it to the Army Corps of Engineers to finish. Uh, it was declared completed in 1884 um, and opened to the public in 1888. Just like its construction, the recent work we did was also public-private partnership. Businessman and philanthropist David Rubenstein made a very generous donation of $3 million to allow us to modernize the elevator. The National Park Service appropriated uh, budget uh, funded the construction of the security screening facility. What's new at the monument, we think of most importance, is the fact that the elevator is now far more reliable than it was when it forced our closure in 2016. The other main thing people are going to notice is, as they get on the elevator, for the first time in the Washington Monument's history, there will not be a ranger or an, an attendant riding with you. Uh, it's fully automated now. Uh, the video monitors on the, uh, on the walls provide the interpretation and the information from, from the ranger. When the monument was completed in 1884, it was the world's tallest building bar none. Um, was eclipsed shortly thereafter with the completion of the Eiffel Tower. But today, the Washington Monument is still the world's tallest freestanding masonry structure. There is no steel, there is no iron that holds it up. It's just the weight of the stones and gravity that holds it in place.